everybody. Welcome to the first video in a new game series. I'll be starting for the game Silent Hill 1 for the PlayStation 1. It was developed by Team Silent and published by Konami. Team Silent was a development team within Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo, or KCET, that you see in the logo when you start the game. They were responsible for the first four games in the Silent Hill franchise by Konami, released from 1999 to 2004. Team Silent consisted of staff members that had failed at other projects and originally intended to leave the company before the first Silent Hill game turned out to be a success. Team Silent was ultimately disbanded by Konami itself because Konami wanted Western developers to make the games. KCET was merged into the parent company in April 2005. The genre Silent Hill falls into would be psychological survival horror. And its releases, which there's a ton of. Uh, Silent Hill 1 came out in 1999, uh, the PlayStation 1. Um, I own this game on my PlayStation 3 digitally. Uh, back when it was still being sold. I highly doubt you can even get it on your PS3 now. I paid $4.99 US. Um, but what I'll be playing is the emulated version on my PC because I don't have a capture card, so I can't record my PS3 even if I wanted to. Um, the next game that came out after that was a play novel in 2001. Uh, it's a mobile uh, type game, uh, not something I'm going to be messing with on this channel. Um, Silent Hill 2 came out in 2001. Um, I'll be playing it on the PC uh, version. I'll be using the uh, Director's Cut uh, specifically. Uh, it has a little bit of extra content at the end, and plus there is a huge mod out uh, called um, Silent Hill Enhanced basically. It's an enhanced edition. Uh, makes the graphics look better, fixes audio issues that have plagued the game from beginning. Um, it's really the true uh, HD release of Silent Hill 2. Um, so I'll be using the PC version modded up. And then Silent Hill 3 uh, came out in 2003. And I'll also be playing the PC version of that with it being slightly modded just to make it work correctly and run well. Then we have Silent Hill 4, which came out in 2004, and I own this on or PS2, the original discs and everything, but I'll be playing this on PC as well. And it'll be slightly modded um, out of the original 3 on PC, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, 4 is the least uh, adjustable, I would say. The next game in the series is called just Silent Hill. It's a, another mobile game from 2006. Um, I won't be messing with that. I'm not going to be messing with any of the mobile games. I really don't care. <laughs> I just don't want to mess with them. Um, following that was Silent Hill in the arcade. Uh, kind of like a light gun um, type shooting game that came out in 2007. Um, I do have that on a MAME arcade. Um, just don't know how playable, playable it would be without having an actual light gun, but uh, I'll look into that when we get to that point and see if I can present it or not. Then in 2007, also the same year, another game called Origins uh, came out. Um, that I believe was for PlayStation 2 and I will be playing that. Um, probably emulate it on PC. It's an okay game. I think that was a game where you could like literally pick up everything that wasn't bolted to the ground and use it as a weapon, which I found very silly. And then the next game, the same year, 2007, uh, Orphan 1, the first Orphan game. It's another mobile. And then also another mobile game in the same year of 2007 called Escape. And in 2008, they released Orphan 2, 
another mobile game. Uh, same year in 2008, Homecoming, uh, Silent Hill Homecoming, which is really the fifth Silent Hill game, uh, came out. I own this on PS3 and also on PC. So to show it to you, I'll be using the PC version. I do remember the last time I tried the PC version. I couldn't maintain a, a solid 60 FPS at all. And I uh, ended up playing the PS3 version to get around it. So I don't know how that will play on PC now. Maybe there's some new fixes that I can apply to make that more presentable. But as it stands from the last time I messed with it, um, it didn't run well on PC at all. Then the next game would be Shattered Memories from 2009 on the PlayStation 2. Um, I do have this game. Um, if I play it, it'll be emulated on PC. It's essentially a retelling of the first Silent Hill game. Um, I didn't particularly care for it very much. Um, I've only played it once, but I didn't really like it. I imagine a lot of other people didn't really like it either, but I don't know for sure. Then in 2010, Orphan 3 came out on mobile. Apparently they've made three of these games. I don't know why, but... And then in 2012, uh, the sixth official Silent Hill game, Downpour, uh, came out. Um, as it stands right now, uh, I have the PS3 version of this game. Um, never came out on P PC, to my knowledge. Um, it could probably be emulated on uh, PC pretty decently, maybe. Um, to me, it's a horrible game. It's one of the worst Silent Hill games they've made, and it's been the last official mainline Silent Hill game. Um, the person you play as is even more drab than Henry in Silent Hill 4. Um, it had some interesting, I think maybe the last boss was kind of interesting looking, but overall terrible Silent Hill game. And then that same year, in 2012, was when they released the HD collection, uh, which consisted of Silent Hill 2 and 3 in completely butchered form. Um, I wouldn't recommend ever considering playing Silent Hill 2 or 3 uh, through the HD collection. You're way better off with the original versions, and you're even better off emulating those versions than you are playing those HD collection editions. Um, also in 2012, the same year the HD collection came out, they released Book of Memories, which is a PS Vita handheld game. Um, probably a little bit uh, ahead of being a, a mobile game, but uh, it looks like it's a isometric, over-the-top view, multiplayer group or something thing, so I don't know. I don't really have any interest in that, so I probably won't be showing it on here. And then I wouldn't really count this, but uh, the game PT uh, stands for Playable Teaser. It was a demo that came out in 2014, I believe only on the PlayStation 4. Um, I don't own a PlayStation 4, uh, so I won't be playing that original demo on here. I do have a PC mod that one single person made and I think is now since either removed it completely or is charging everybody to buy it to even play it. So, but I still have it on my hard drive and as long as it still functions as it did, um, I'll probably show it on here. It's the closest thing to PT I'll ever get because I never played the original demo. But I don't really count it in any way as a, a Silent Hill game because it's really not. Um, and then there's four new Silent Hill games being developed right now, uh, out of nowhere. Konami decides to give a shit about Silent Hill. Um, the first one being titled Ascension. The second one being called just F, the letter F. And then a third being called Townfall. And then there's also a Silent Hill 2 remake, possibly retelling. Uh, game being made as well, and that's the fourth one. 
There is no uh, dates on when these will be coming out, just that they're in development, and I believe all four of them are developed by different developers, since uh, Konami doesn't even trust themselves enough to develop a, a new good Silent Hill game. They've just leased it out to four random developers and just going to see what sticks to the wall, I guess, when they all come out. Um, can't say much for Ascension Town Fallen F's developers. I don't even know offhand who they are. I do know that Silent Hill 2's remake developer is Blooper Team. And um, I think that was a poor choice for a developer to make a Silent Hill 2 remake, but that's just my opinion. Um, I don't have anything completely directly against Blooper Team. I just, I mean, I'll go down the list here. Uh, 2016, they came out with a game called Layers of Fear. More or less a walking simulator note reading game, which I like. I've played it probably three times. Um, I'll play it on this channel. Um, it's a fine game. It was fine for when it came out. Um, they are apparently, in says in 2023, uh, they are remaking the first Layers of Fear. Uh, which I really don't understand why uh, it doesn't need to be remade, in my opinion. Um, so in 2016, that was a year before Resident Evil 7 came out, by the way. Um, they came out with that game. And then in 2017, they came out with a game called Observer, which is another more or less walking simulator. Um, Rutger Howard from uh, Blade Runner, Voices, and... I think his likeness is possibly uh, used in this game. It's a cyberpunk themed game. Um, I've played it probably three times. Um, I liked it for what it was. There's not much gameplay to it. Um, in 2019 they came out with Layers of Fear 2 as well as uh, Blair Witch and they definitely lost me as a fan I would say that year with these two games in particular. I've tried to play Layers of Fear 2 at least twice, maybe three times now, and it was just such a long, dragging experience, and I got so bored with it. Um, I never finished it either time. Um, I guess if I play the first game on my channel here, uh, I'll end up playing the second one, but that'll probably be my first time completing it. And uh, Blair Witch had potential uh, to be pretty good. Um, it was definitely a step up, step up uh, graphically for them. But once again, it was another one of those kind of hands-off in the gameplay department kind of game. Um, poorly executed in a lot of situations. Um, I've played it twice completely through. Um, didn't like it any better the second time. And then 2021, they came out with a game called The Medium, and I have not played this game. Don't really intend to. I might if I uh, end up playing their other games on this channel. Um, and if I do play that game on here, I'll probably will play it blind. Uh, it's not something I'm probably going to be interested in playing through once to see if I even like it, and then playing through it again on my channel. So if I do decide to play it, I'll probably play it for the first time here. Um, I haven't played it just because their last two games, Layers of Fear 2 and Blair Witch, didn't impress me. And I've seen some some gameplay footage of how it plays. It looks like it plays like some kind of a split screen. Uh, normal reality in the game on one side and then like the past or the present and the other and what you're doing at the same time is affecting both. That just didn't seem that interesting to me uh, from a gameplay perspective. So. Uh, that alone is why I've not touched that game. Um, and then as mentioned, 2023, they've started working on remastering Layers of Fear. Um, I already said what I thought about that. And then the next game they're working on currently is the new Silent Hill 2 remake. Um, like personally, I would have rather have seen a company like uh, Frictional Games who made Penumbra and Amnesia and Soma. Uh, I would rather see them making the Silent Hill 2 remake instead of Blooper Team. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I'm just very uh, skeptical, uh, just simply because they're the developer of it. 
Um, they're definitely going to have to make the best game they've ever made, and they're going to be responsible for having to do a lot more than they have had to do in their own games to uh, make them passable. And I don't know that they're going to be able to hit that mark um, with Silent Hill 2. Um, I think they're taking on more than they can handle. <laughs> and Konami was sure putting a lot of uh, hope in uh, letting them take control of it. That's just my opinion. Um, so that kind of covers all of, mostly all. <laughs> There's plenty of games that are made nowadays and have been made that are uh, ripping off Silent Hill as a whole or implementing things to try to make you think of Silent Hill, um, either consciously or subconsciously. Um, but those are all the main games, at least from the Wikipedia. Uh, going back to the game we're covering here for Silent Hill 1, um, the next section here in my introduction video would be related to mods. Um, since this is a PlayStation 1 game and has not been released on anything else, so your only means of playing it is on a PlayStation 1 or emulating a PlayStation 1 on your computer. Those are your only two choices other than still having a PlayStation 3 with uh, the digital version that you bought from the PlayStation Network still on the hard drive. But you're essentially still just playing an emulated version of the game, even if you're playing it on your PS3 digitally. Um, so those are your own ways to play it. And I'm going to be playing it on my PC using an emulator, um, which arguably makes it look and run better than it did on the original hardware anyway. Um, maybe not in all aspects of it, but uh, it's super easy to emulate. PS1 level games on a PC of any decent quality these days. Um, it's not going to give you much problems. Any problems you are going to have are just going to be uh, tied to the version, that version of the game and it being old. So in the next video, uh, we'll be getting into a little configuration and technical side of things, um, covering setup options uh, in the game itself and a few little touches on the emulator configuration side of it uh, to make the game run well. Um, as I always do in these videos, I plan to just record uh, my desktop, my PC. Um, I'll have a folder view on the left side for any file manipulation um, instructions, and then I'll have my notes on the right side of the screen that I will be following, and you can also be following uh, with me uh, as we go along through the video. And we'll just walk through the process one thing at a time. So thank you for watching this. I hope it was informational. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.